What is up guys? Today we're back. We've got this free Craftsman riding lawnmower. Some friends dropped it off. We proved that it runs by adding this uh, by adding this makeshift gas tank. And we did a short video on this just proving that it ran. Um, there's a there is a fuel tank issue where the fuel tank was leaking and what we found is that the uh, fuel line had become disconnected this little elbow and there's a rubber grommet that's supposed to be on the bottom of the fuel tank that was missing so we ordered that part we ordered a few other things so today we're going to be putting everything back together and seeing how it runs let's do this thing All right, so we're gonna swap out this old fuel line. Clamp there. Get this plastic elbow out. So here's your grommet. We're gonna try to mount this first on the bottom of the fuel tank. Kind of a tight fit, so let's see if you can get that. Okay, so we've got that mounted. There we go. Great success, we got it. So let's get this new fuel filter hooked up. Yep, and then, there you go. Right there's good, yep. That's good. And then move it over. Closer, closer, that's good right there, okay, all right, you hold that, now watch the bottom and make sure that it's not leaking. Are we done? Um, we've got, hmm, we've got some, we've got some leaks, yeah, let's stop for a second. So we still have some leaks, so I think we're going to have to take the fuel tank out and see if there's any cracks um, that are causing it to leak, and so maybe we have a bad fuel tank. So to remove the back portion of the seat and the rear fender, there are two bolts here. There's one bolt there, and that disconnects. Uh, you have three bolts on both sides, and then you have to take off um, this assembly. There's a few bolts for that, so you can slip that over the transmission. And then on the seat, you have to disconnect the safety switch and pull that cable out. So that's how you get that off. So then there's two bolts to take the rear suspension piece off. Okay, got an extra grommet, so if we tore this one up, it's okay. So kind of tough to see, but I got a flathead under that and you can kind of see that crack. That is the culprit. So, probably need a new fuel tank. So I ended up buying a new tank on Amazon. I'll put a link for it down in the description. Um, it's the same as the old one, Craftsman Husqvarna style. Um, so it looks like this one actually came with a grommet. Um, it's got a little plug in it. We're going to take that out, get this thing hooked up, see if we can get it running again. Get our fuel elbow in here. This is a lot easier when you're not trying to manipulate it when it's on the machine. So that should be tight. I want it kind of positioned. So it's going towards the front of the mower.
setting your fenders back on over the gas tank. Feed your safety switch through here. Feed that through over the top of the transmission lever and take your, your fuel tank cap off and everything should kind of slide into place. Get your safety switch reconnected. Got some new spark plugs. We're going to gap them to 40. Ooh, that's nice. Always nice when you find like a little mouse nest and with your spark plugs. This is pretty normal. Let me know down in the comments if you find mice nests inside of your engines when you're working on machines. I was mowing my back trails I noticed that the transmission was really slow this thing wasn't moving as fast as it normally would and sure enough the drive belt broke so that is where today's video is gonna end we got the fuel tank repaired we got spark plugs in next step will be an oil change and a new drive belt if you enjoyed this video and you like will it run type videos or free stuff on the side of the road three-wheelers old Chevy pickup trucks consider smashing that subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you on the next one